Let's move over to uh, some more Division Three rankings. I think I'm just going to throw them up on the screen for you guys. I will not read through the entire list. I'll probably give you the top 10. And then uh, if you want to see the rest, you can always go up to our YouTube and check those out. I know this isn't like too big. It's not a great graphic or anything, but you guys can at least read and see right there. So number one ranked in the D3football.com preseason rankings for Division Three football, North Central. Cortland comes in at number two. There are 14 first place votes for North Central and 11 for Cortland. Now, you know, maybe not too surprising. I think a lot of that weighs into what Cortland is losing, but I know talking with Cole Burgess last time we had him on here, there's a lot coming back for the Red Dragons. So uh, a little surprised the defending national champion is not number one, but like I said, those two can go back and forth. I think either of them have certainly warranted a top spot when it comes to uh, at least the preseason rankings based off of last year. Now, going through the rest of the list, from third on down, UW-Whitewater, Wartburg, Mount Union, La Crosse, Alma, Johns Hopkins. You got Wheaton, Randolph-Macon, Grove City. You know, you start to get down into that list. A lot of teams that we're very, very familiar with. And uh, the biggest thing here compared to probably the Lindsay, Lindy's uh, preseason sports magazine, Alma coming in at, uh, that would be 7th right there, as compared to like a 15th or 16th for Lindy's, which was absurd. Uh, this Alma team is definitely getting the recognition that it deserves now. Whitewater, Lacrosse, two of the powerhouses over there on the WIAC. You have uh, also down on the list River Falls getting some recognition at 17th. I believe those are potentially... The only three, yes, they are the only three WIAC squads, which again, only three. That sounds crazy, but we're used to seeing potentially even more WIAC squads uh, in top 25. That's not to say, again, this could change so much between now uh, and even the start of September, October, that kind of thing. So there, don't put too much weight in this. But um, Whitewater certainly uh, has a lot of praise coming off an uncharacteristic two-loss season for the Warhawks over there. Wartburg has shown us exactly what they're about. Mount Union, Lacrosse, those teams we know are going to rebuild. Lacrosse does lose quite a big a few big pieces especially offensively but uh addressing the transfer portal and some other things they look to rebuild how about uh johns hopkins wheaton is kind of an intriguing one being as high as there but you look at their record and, and i think it you know it kind of speaks for itself uh randolph macon is one that doesn't surprise me at all grove city had quite the historic run last year. D3Football.com certainly seems to believe that that will be a, a repeat ordeal uh, down there in, I believe, Pennsylvania for Grove City. So exciting stuff to look at. Once again, don't put too much weight in it. It's it's not anything uh, too official, but I'll be very curious to see uh, which one of these teams uh, comes out on top, but also kind of how these how these shake out. We have, you know, we've seen more parity in the uh, non-conference, out-of-conference scheduling in Division Three football the last five years than, than I can remember, and I haven't been covering it for that long, admittedly. But it seems to me with the current playoff system that these teams are starting to understand that, mate, hey, hey we need to go out and schedule these really tough out of conference games to prove that we belong in one of those at large bids because you're getting it, you say you're UW Lacrosse or UW Whitewater for instance and you don't win the WIAC which is you know again this is a really tough conference to win in itself but you still have like 10 11 wins and now you're like not a shoe in for the playoffs so there's a lot of teams that think I figured that out that you need to schedule these hard out of conference games it just makes for more exciting football for us the viewers the first couple weeks of the season um, or whenever they do sprinkle in those non conference games so I am excited about it, for one. I'm ready for D3 football to start. I'm ready for all football to start.